Hey guys, we're going to start by priming our skin. I'm using an anti-aging primer from Cover FX and just fanning this all over the face with a foundation brush. If you notice, my brows are already on and I did already prime my eyes just to speed up this whole process. We're doing the usual, throwing a little bit of a light brown in the crease. Then we're going a step down in color. This is charcoal brown from MAC and a 224 brush. And I'm going around the eye socket back and forth in the crease in the upper portion, trying to avoid getting much color on the lid because we are gonna be using glitter today. Now I'm taking a MAC 217 and brown down. Now you notice I I'm holding the handle on the very tip and I have the brush held flat on its side so that I can really carve out that outer half of the crease and then kind of fan and brush the color on the outer edge only. Then I'm going back with the 224 brush and just making sure that everything is buffed together, looking nice and blurred out, and repeating the process on the other side. Make sure that you keep most of the lid clean though because right here we are going in with a Black Star base from Galactic. This stuff is so good. I picked this up during Madness Monday, which you guys may have seen yesterday. I'll link it below if you haven't. I bought this at Rite Aid. I used to use this stuff way, way, way back in the day and this is the best eye base for glitter, pigments, anything. I am just pressing this all over the lid, not getting above the crease, being really careful to only go on the lid, pressing and blending, and then I'm going to go over with the white gold sparkles, which is just so gorgeous. I recommend using your fingertips for this. Don't even attempt using a brush, but this base and the glitter combined just adhere to one another beautifully. There's not a lot of fallout underneath the eye. We still did our eyes first today instead of doing the face just in case there is anything that falls underneath, we can kind of wipe it away. But you see everything is just grabbing right onto that base and sticking beautifully. So sparkly, I love it. I recommend working one eye at a time with this eye base and then pressing the glitter on top so that the base doesn't dry down completely and it stays a little bit sticky. So now we are going right above the crease. I am using a small tapered crease brush from Makeup Geek and I am taking a little bit of brown down and just making sure that that edge is still there, that there is still some type of a gradient going upward toward the brow. And I just think it finishes off the look and makes everything look really polished and beautiful. Now I'm setting my eyes with Infallible Setting Spray. This is a trick that I like to do whenever I work with anything really glittery. I will spray my eyes even before I put on any of my foundation or I'm done or anything because I want everything to just completely lock into place. And I had to do a little bit of cleanup under the eyes, but not much. All right, so now we are taking my favorite liner from the drugstore. This is from L'Oreal and I am only winging out the outer half. I am not even bringing that black liner all the way into the inner corner. We are only focusing on the outer half of the eye and I recommend using a gel liner when you're using glitter because what I did is I actually brushed off the glitter that I picked up while lining one eye and I was able to wipe my brush on a cloth in front of me before dipping back into the gel liner. I've ruined so many like black liner brushes. It's ridiculous. So I definitely recommend using a gel liner when you are working with this kind of texture and glitter. Now I am very carefully curling my lashes so that I don't move any of that glitter around and I'm going to take my iconic over curl mascara and load up my lashes. I stayed here for a few minutes. I'm going to spare you the details and we are going to move on pretty quickly but it did take me a while to build them up and now I'm combing them through with a metal lash comb and just making sure there are no clumps and we are ready to move on to the face. I am still obsessing over the LA Girl Pro BB Cream. I love this. It just makes the skin look really fresh. I wanted a light application today so I'm using a brush and just blending this all over the face. This is a flat foundation brush from Makeup Geek. I love it. It just it helps your makeup go on so quickly, smoothly, evenly and it gets the job done. Now we are taking Fit Me Concealer in Fair and I am just dotting this under the eye. I think I've been going kind of crazy with my highlight lately and I like to step it back and tone it down every once in a while and especially if I'm doing eyes like this that are just like whoa. Like I feel like I don't need so much contour and highlight and 
all of that crazy stuff going on with the face. So now I am setting that concealer with a little bit of translucent powder from Laura Mercier and just pressing and patting under the eye. And I don't want to over powder the whole face. So I'm just taking the excess there and going down the T-zone and around the nose and just kind of lightly dusting the face with powder. Now I'm taking soft brown and we are going on the lower lash line from outer corner to inner corner and just blending and buffing that out. And you don't have to press too hard underneath the eye. Don't feel that pressure is gonna make things blend out better. Still use a light touch. Just make sure that you are going back and forth quite a bit to get that blurred effect. Now I'm taking a slanted eyeliner brush and Brun from MAC, which is just a really deep dark brown just on the outer half to create a little bit of dimension on the lower lash line. And I took a clean pencil brush and cleaned everything up back and forth motions. Here's where it gets a little bit strange. This looks a little weird. I am taking that black eye base, but then I am packing the glitter on top of it. You want to make sure you clean your brush before moving to the other eye, obviously. And this stuff is just so incredible. It sticks to this base so beautifully. You don't have to worry about things falling everywhere. I wore this look all day long and that lower lash line stayed put all day. Day. So just make sure that you are packing and pressing instead of dragging and just get that glitter where you want it, you'll be good. Now I'm taking the Roller Lash Mascara from Benefit because I really wanted to accentuate my lower lash line and I wanted something that would not smear and this stuff stays put. And I was like, hey, why not? Let's hit the upper lashes again too because more is more sometimes. All right, I took a Q-tip and just wanted to soften that inner corner up a little bit and we are on to the face. We are gonna get totally bronzed this hourglass powder is very powdery it's very finely milled but oh my gosh you dip your brush in and it kind of just explodes with powder so I am bronzing up the face with a large brush from it cosmetics I am not contouring I am just taking this bronzer everywhere I'm making sure I pull it all the way up to the hairline and now I'm wetting my brush with a little bit of Mac fix plus and I'm taking craving from NARS it's a duo intensity blush I did a full review on these I'll link that below amazing product to get that really wet high shine glowy look but it doesn't look chunky at all it just looks gorgeous i love it so much i did the same thing with the shine on powder from make it forever so i'm really loading up on all of my highlighter today and going down the bridge of the nose i'm going to hit the cupid's bow i'm also going to hit a little bit under the brow and i just I wanted to glow. I wanted to be just a legit disco ball today. So uh, now we are moving into blush. I'm using Los Cabos from Cargo, one of my favorites. This is the second one I've purchased. The first one broke and I turned it into lip gloss during a Tip Tuesday, if you remember that episode way back when. This is the same shade. All right, now we are moving on to lips. We are almost done. I'm taking a medium lip pencil from Kevin Aquan and then I'm gonna top that off with a beautiful pinky peach lipstick from Kevin Aquan as well and just in the center of the lip we are going to take the make it forever plexiglass in 300p and really accentuate the shine in the center of the mouth it's such a beautiful gloss also one of my favorite tricks is to take a smaller brush and a blotting powder when you're doing a really high shine high glow look and just hit around the areas that you want to be matte because you don't want your whole face to look oily you want to look like you're glowing and there is a big difference between the two so now we are done we are setting our face with a little infallible setting spray hello i woke up like this Okay, so we are going to detangle my very tangly hair that is second day hair. I'm going to use a little bit of the Perk Up Dry Shampoo and spend about the next 20 minutes wrapping little sections around my World Trio and really there's no rhyme or reason. I was just very messy with it and I just wanted to create a bunch of volume and curl and there you can see my setup. How about that? There's my ring light, my camera. This is always what I do. I flip my hair over, I massage my hair, flip it back, and that's how I get that nice separated look to the curls. So we are done. This is the finished makeup look. And let's check out the outfit. So my hat is from Free People. My awesome Beauty Mark tattoo is from Mr. Kate. Kylie sunglasses from Woodsy. And I love this top from Free People as well. The whole outfit is basically Free People. And this gorgeous wrap bracelet is from Etika. And that's about it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. Be sure to give it a thumbs up if you liked it. 
and I will see you next time.